Meanwhile, in the real world, this is the title track, or well, the two title tracks. My new, my new CD of my band is called Bankers and Looters, and these are the two title tracks. The first one's called Looters. I'm sure you all remember the riots in Britain about 19, about 15 months ago. Trainers and a hood. He trashed his local corner shop. He learned that green is good. CCTV nailed him. The papers called him scum. Now Dazza's in the bar in place, crying for his mum. There's no such thing as society, so steal and cheat and loot. Just one thing to remember make sure you wear a suit. In pinstripes, woes and tie Short selling in the city He made millions on the sly He nicked our hard at savings Then turned around and said thanks He walked off with the money We bailed out the banks There's no such thing as society So steal and cheat and loot Just one thing to remember Make sure you wear a suit To greed that breeds and breeds, what else did you expect? The selfish scum get richer, the communities get wrecked. Some rob us with an iron bar, some a computer screen. And when they say it's legal, that's even more obscene. Dazza is a stinking, and what he did was wrong, but he probably wouldn't do it if he felt he could belong. Bazza's rich and privileged, he doesn't give a shit He takes us for a load of mugs and gets away with it There's no such thing as society, so steal and cheat and loot Just one thing to remember, make sure you wear a suit There's no such thing as society, so steal and cheat and loot Just one thing to remember, make sure you wear a suit Make sure you wear a suit, make sure you wear a suit Cheers! <laughs> This is a kind of musical homage to the Velvet Underground. Although well, obviously not when I played it on my own, on my acoustic mandola, but it is on the record with my band. It's, but it's, um, no, it's sort of like this. They say we've got to keep a hold of all our bankers because they're so clever and so talented, you know. And if we don't give them their bonuses and millions, then they'll just become their briefcases and go. Well, they're so clever that they back up in the country and they're so talented our taxes bail them out that the government is frightened by their puny little threats when the rest of us just want to scream and shout Go, go, just fuck off now and go You can all leave your passports at the door And the same as for your house It's your money in your cars You're not welcome in this country anymore but You're not welcome in this country anymore with our money on the markets which is not a function of a bank at all and they're paid a hundred times more than someone who saves lives it's time we dealt with this once and for all I said let's tax them till their testicles are tiny and make their bonuses some tickets for some planes and then we'll show the world how we can get along just fine but that they're talented in all the super brains go, go, just fuck off now and go you can all leave your parcels on the door the same as we in a house, it's your money in your cars You're not welcome in this country anymore No, you're not welcome in this country anymore But the government is friends with all the bankers Like Karl Marx predicted all those years ago And although they caused the mess, they got stooges in the press Who were desperate to keep the status quo So the city boys get richer by the hour While all we get the sack into cutbacks and they're brutalising Greece with their IMF police. Yes, it's time to grab those gold men by their sacks. Ow! Go, go, just fuck off that one, go. You can all leave your pockets on the door. And you sell your houses, your money and your cars. You're not welcome in this country anymore. No, you're not welcome in this country anymore. We already own 
and banks, well that's a good start. All we need to do is nationalise the rest. Make the banks work for the people, not the other way around. Put the speculators all under arrest. And as they choose to leave the country for the last time, if they dare to own the wine, will give it large. So that the lucky they're not rotting in a gulag. Cause they will be if a tear was in charge. Go, go, just fuck off, let one go. You can all leave your portals at the door. And the senders get out of this your money in your cars. You don't work them in this country anymore. Are you not welcome in this country anymore? Are you not welcome in this country anymore? Cheers! Right now, here's a song for, um, for the evil fucking past that started all this stuff in the 1980s. And I'm not talking about Gorbachev who betrayed the Soviet Union and destroyed the hopes of fucking generations across the world. I'm talking about Margaret Thatcher. Yeah. She's gonna die soon. There's gonna be a party. Six o'clock in Trafalgar Square, the weekend after she dies. Saturday after she dies. And here's the soundtrack of that party. I've turned faces off the poor. Gazed at them in France of yore, swinging in the jibby cage, stark against the sky. See the tyrant's bones picked clean, rulers once no just cuisine. For our little wriggly friend, the lava of the fly. Come that final glorious day, treat that bastard the same way. No pint box, no wreath of flowers. With her safe inside, let's give her a fitting fate. String her up by Tyburn Gate, then get pissed and celebrate. Party! Thatcher's died! <laughs> Maggots one, Maggie Neil, hallelujah. 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 She forgot, sing and dance and watch her rot. Hopeless, hopeless, poor ill with that coward you. Arthur Scarb, you'll leave the cheers. Watch those printers sink their beers. No such thing as society, no such thing as you. Faggots one, faggy two, hallelujah. 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 What a party, what a giggle. Six and watch them wriggle. People all across the land singing with one voice. Never seen a crowd so vast. Ecstasy gone unsurpassed. Maggie Thatcher's breathed her last. Roger and rejoice. Maggots one, Maggie Hill. Hallelujah. 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 Those are all quite new. This is an old one. This is a piece of traditional Libyan thrash metal, which I've never performed at the Paradiso. I have performed it at the Melkweg and at various other places in, uh, in, in Amsterdam before. But I, know, I know I've never performed it at the Paradiso because the only other time I played the Paradiso was in 1982 downstairs at the Crossing Border Festival when they had this really clever idea it was a poetry festival, they had a plank going out into the audience, kind of like a plank, with a microphone on the end of it, and I was supposed to stand at the end of a plank and perform my poetry, like a really quite a narrow plank, and I'd had about 25 left blonde by then, and in 1982 left blonde wasn't the kind of in-bev stuff it is now, it was proper kind of hardcore, and I was kind of fucking, uh, I didn't fall off, but it wasn't a good idea anyway. <laughs> I digress. This is a piece of traditional Libyan thrash metal, a piece of satire. Uh, in 1986, Libya um, was bombed by the US. They said, uh, it's, uh, the, Ronald Reagan at the time said, uh, Libya is full of terrorists, so we need to bomb it. 
And they've been doing it ever since, basically. And how grateful the Libyans are. They just killed the, uh, the US ambassador. Okay, so this, this, song, this, this song goes on and on and on and on and on. It is traditional Libyan thrash metal. And it's called Libyan Students from Hell! Oh, 